Welcome to Get to Know Your County Commissioner, the program that speaks with elected officials about issues of importance to our community. I'm Jeanette Perez. Today I'm joined by County Commission Chairman Jean Monestime to share his thoughts on May's celebration of Haitian Cultural Heritage Month, as well as some other news from his district. Welcome and thank you for being here. Thank you, Jeanette. It's a pleasure to be here. You just recently attended the Taste of Haiti, which was a great success. Tell us about that event. Wow, what a great event that was. Uh, this was the third annual Taste of Haiti, which is a collaboration of, uh, between my office, uh, the uh, city of North Miami, and the Haitian American Chamber of Commerce of South Florida, and the Haitian uh, Consulate of Miami. Uh, this year, uh, this family gathering uh, had approximately over close to 5,000 people attended. It was a fanfare uh, of culture and and many people uh, love uh, the ambience and uh, there was art, uh, you know, it's a very beautiful culinary festival. So with arts and music and lots of food, lots of different food and it was a pleasure to be part of such a huge success and uh, we thank all our partners for making it possible. And what was one of your favorite dishes? Well, uh, you know, the, the, the favorite dish is, uh, is always the tasso and the accra for the people in my, uh, at my house. So other people enjoy the uh, griot and uh, uh, the soup, which I like as well, uh, the pumpkin soup. And, uh, but it was too many, and, and it was all good because that, uh, we have many chefs, Haitian chefs, uh, from throughout the United States and in Haiti and in Canada. So they, they did a good job this year. And music plays a large part in this celebration, including the uh, Compass, the Haitian Compass Festival at Sun Life, Sun Life Stadium. Tell us about that event. Well, the Haitian Compass Festival, uh, it's, it's an annual event that's been taking place for the last 17 years. And, and this year, it was huge. Uh, I was invited and attended uh, uh, with uh, some friends and family members. Uh, there were probably over 30,000 people there. Uh, and um, this was not my first time. Uh, it appears that this year it was extremely well organized, better than years past. And people from throughout the world uh, come to this festival. Uh, it's I, the largest. It's the largest Haitian in the, in the United States. Right? Uh, yes, and probably in the world. I met uh, uh, former friends uh, in Haiti that lives right now in Europe that came to the event. Wow. I knew other friends that came from New York and other parts of the United States. It was a huge success this year, and there are many non-Haitians that participate in both of these events, and I think uh, it's a great uh, way to show uh, and share our culture. And there's also a lot of artwork displayed in several places throughout the county. Tell us how art um, is expressed with uh, Haitian culture. You know, I think, uh, Haitian Heritage Month is uh, be getting better and better year after year. Um, one example is uh, if you look at the art display uh, at the lobby of uh, the 111 building here, uh, it's, it's beautiful. We have two world-renowned artists, uh, uh, Mr. Doda and, and uh, Tugo Bastien. Actually, for those watching, Tugo Bastien is actually the, the brother of Marlon Bastien and uh, and Dodard is, is, uh, is a renowned artist and the brother as well of a renowned physician in this uh, community who is a professor at UM and, 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 and a physician at Jackson. So uh, these individuals are familiar with the community and it's a good way to show uh, and share your culture because you learn the expression of the people and the, their values and, and, and the things that keep them inspired through their arts and, 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 and their music and their cuisine. And, uh, and I'm very excited. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of that origin, especially how we see the culture being appreciated in a very, very uh, a good way by many in this community, and especially by our children as well. And that artwork is certainly beautiful. I've had a chance to, to pass by it every, every morning and every afternoon when I go home. Another artist that is also part of the exhibit uh, who's homegrown here is uh, Jude Papaloco. And oh my God, his pieces are beautiful. I didn't want to forget that. And see, because he's local, I'll give a shout out to Jude Papaloco. He's, he's a wonderful artist. <laughs> Tell us about another event called the Haitian History Bee taking place on the 27th of this month. Who participates in that? Um, uh, the participants are mostly uh, elementary, junior high, and high school children. 
and uh, uh, this year is the fourth annual Haitian History Bee. Um, many schools throughout the county uh, participate in that event. Um, the organizers uh, ask the teachers of the schools and uh, to prepare these uh, 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 children, boys and girls, for two months prior to the event. Uh, it's going to be at the end of the month, right here at County Hall for the first time. And look, it's going to be interesting to see uh, how many young non-Haitian studies Haitian culture and history and knows it well and appreciate it. And I, 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 I would say, I think one of the last years, the champion was uh, a non-Haitian uh, child. So I'm telling the Haitian parents right now to actually uh, keep moving with uh, educating uh, our, our kids because other people are learning and, and some of them are really getting good at it. Uh, so, but uh, this, uh, these children, they're studying very hard and history is history, you know. Um, the world is becoming a, a, a world uh, with no boundaries and therefore it's important for all children to learn all history and be part of it and, and use it fruitfully uh, in their future endeavors. So there's definitely something for everyone. There's something for everyone. Let's switch now to uh, news in your district. I think you wanted to share something about the uh, Jackson Urgent Care Center, a new urgent care center in your district. What a wonderful opportunity uh, that is that uh, uh, Jackson is, is, will be opening its first uh, uh, urgent care center uh, in my district uh, on Biscayne Boulevard on 131st Street, the city of North Miami. But I'm excited that the, the urgent care center is, um, is coming to the area. I look forward to another one in the inner city because right now hospitals and don't have to worry about how they get paid because uh, almost everybody has insurance right now with uh, the uh, 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 those that were underinsured having an opportunity uh, to go to the marketplace right now and obtain uh, insurance and and so I look forward to another one opening up in the inner city uh, and not central so. It, that's that's a great move by the hospital. That's definitely good news. Yeah, yeah. And tell us also about the Northside Station transit-oriented development. Give us an update. Uh, it's it's a good thing that this county is doing, moving toward more transit-oriented development. Because in order to facilitate uh, uh, mobility for people uh, in this county, it's good that uh, people can live with, near these stations and uh, catch the metro or the bus. Uh, another to go to from one place to another. And the last one that opened in my district is the uh, Northside Transit uh, Development Facility. Uh, the, the first phase opened up with 100 units, and, and they, they are for different income level. They are for very low income level. They, 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 there, is, uh, there are a number of units for low income, and there are a number of units for moderate income as well. So um, it's a beautiful project. Uh, I believe right now it's about over 90% uh, 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 capacity. Uh, 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 so it's, it's, it's another beautiful project in the district. And to all the partners, I say thank you, and to the family that are enjoying a, a, a good place uh, to raise their children, I tell them congratulations. Thank you for those updates and for encouraging us to explore Haitian culture. It's thank always a pleasure. Thank you so very much. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you so much. And that's all the time we have for this edition of Get to Know Your County Commissioner. For more information about county programs and services, call the county's answer center at 311 or go to miamidade.gov. I'm Jeanette Perez. Thanks for watching.